Now, with summer thunderstorms popping up, many of you may want to know how you can tell the distance between lightning and thunder. Meteorologist Hunter Williams turned to some old school math to verify the answer. We've all heard the rule. You see lightning, you start counting until you hear thunder, you divide by five, and from this information, you're somehow able to figure out how far away the lightning is. But does this really work? Let's verify. So we start with the speed of sound, and this can be a little tricky based on the fact that sound travels at a different speed through different mediums. But a good rule of thumb for this purpose is about 1,200 feet per second, and this translates to about 4.4 seconds per mile. Now, when you factor in that as humans, it takes us a little while to see something like lightning and react. In this case, roughly five seconds per mile is a reasonable assumption. So let's use an example. Say you see lightning right about now. Count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. And at five seconds, you hear thunder. So we'll take that five seconds divided by five, and that equals one. Very easy math. So this means that the lightning is roughly one mile away. Another example, say you counted to 15 seconds, then you divide f by five. The lightning is roughly three miles away in that instance. So this is in fact generally accurate and we verified. You can in fact determine how far away lightning is by counting the seconds from the time you see the flash to the time you hear the thunder. You divide this number of seconds by five and boom, you have a rough estimate for how far away the lightning is. Remember, lightning can strike several miles away from thunderstorms. So as always, when thunder roars, go indoors.